Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that we're going to talk about tonight is this specific deal with the White House requesting the SCOTUS to get involved in Second Amendment issues. Now, this is massive because if the Second Amendment issues that are requesting come up in our favor, the DOJ, the Biden White House, and the ATF take a blow right in the kisser. This is a big one. Everything will be linked in the description box below, and I cannot wait to hear from you guys on this one and send this one out because this is something to watch that we're pending this week. Now, a little update for us. We are completely done with the move. Everything will be back to regular scheduled programming to a day going forward on this channel. The move is done, and I appreciate your patience while we got everything situated. But my brothers and sisters, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. We are distributing freedom on the daily. And now, let's get into the goodness. And again, I can't wait to hear what you guys think about this one. Supreme Court considers recoil from landmark gun ruling. A lower court ruling, excuse me, after lower court ruling struck down long-standing gun restrictions, the Biden administration asked justices to uphold restrictions on people with domestic violence restraining orders. Remember when we talked about this and how they weren't going to let this one go? The DOJ and the White House have now requested the SCOTUS take another look at this decision. They're asking to escalate it. If this does not go in their favor, we get a massive win and Bruin will only be strengthened. That's what this is hinging on. Now, let's keep going. Let me show you what they're very upset about. This came out yesterday. Washington. One court ruled that federal law cannot bar someone from owning a gun just because that person is subject to a domestic violence restraining order. Another decided that preventing someone convicted of a nonviolent felony that, from owning a gun is unconstitutional. And a third found that federal law prohibiting people under 21 from owning firearms is unlawful. Yeah, all those rulings are correct, but they can't let it stand. The only thing that they can do in their power is ask the SCOTUS to intervene, just like happened in the New York concealed carry case. Exact same thing, only reverse roles, all right? Let's keep going. Let me show you what they're actually saying. All of these recent rulings by, by lower courts are the product of a court decision striking blows against long-standing federal gun restrictions that were issued by lower court judges in the past year after the Supreme Court in a, real, in a sweeping ruling expanded gun rights by finding for the first time that the Constitution's Second Amendment right to bear arms extends outside the home. It did not expand gun rights. It curtailed gun control. They will never tell you that, but that's what happened. They never said, all of a sudden, these rights that came out of nowhere, they all of a sudden said, you can't constrain this this much anymore. That's what happened. They did not expand gun rights. Let's continue, but that's a very important thing to see. Here's what the Biden administration is doing. Now, the issue is back on the Supreme Court's doorstep again, with the Biden administration asking the court to reverse their lower court ruling that invalidated the federal law, barring people subject to domestic violence restraining orders from possessing firearms. Again, keep in mind, this is not found guilty. This is a restraining order. This is not a jury of your peers. This is a restraining order. You can't lose your rights until a jury decides you're guilty. And even then, that's a different scenario. That's what they're pushing for here. Domestic violence restraining orders, similar to red flag orders, same kind of vibe, all right? So now check out what they're actually saying because if you watch this channel, you're gonna know about this on Thursday. This is important because this is when the SCOTUS is going to check it out. Listen, the justices are scheduled to discuss in private on Thursday whether to hear a case in what will be the first real test of how broadly the court's conservative majority wants its 2022 ruling to be interpreted. Now, this is the reason where the payoff lays or lies. The Bruin decision undermined a ton of gun control, a lot of precedent, and a lot of the way that they actually interpret gun control in federal courts was affected by Bruin, which is why we were so massively onto it on this channel. A lot of other channels, too, to be completely fair. The Biden administration just pushed this domestic violence restraining order thing to the top of the pile. The SCOTUS now gets to decide and hand a backhand right to the Biden administration and say, we're not getting involved, they were correct, which is the exact same thing they did in the New York concealed carry case, keep on litigating, or they say, yeah, you're right, and they back on their own Bruin decision, and then we get a whole different set of uh, scenarios. That's what we've got, and we're going to find out on Thursday. Or at least they're going to discuss it on Thursday, and we'll find soon after that. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.